Hey guys, it's Tara, and today I'm going to be reacting to a creepy warning about American Girl dolls. And this video was requested by somebody. I'm going to put their name on the screen right now because I just forgot. I have never heard of this video, and this is the first time I'm watching it, so I'm kind of scared, but let's get into it. Okay, this is a really creepy intro and I feel like it's not very fitting because none of the dolls she's shown so far are American Girl dolls and I feel like AG dolls aren't, are like on the less creepy side of like toys. I know some people are like scared of dolls and stuff but I don't know. Hey guys, it's Wait, Jeff. hold on. <laughs> Everything said in this video are facts I found online and have not yet been confirmed by American Girl brand. Okay, good to know. So. Taking it with a grain of salt. Hey guys, you really wanted me to do a video about American Girl dolls. Now, I'll admit, I have never owned one of these, but I have had friends who have had them, and I've seen them for the last while of my life. I have no idea if they are still as popular as they once were. Now, we're going to start with the history, just in case you aren't familiar about them. American Girl is an American line of 18-inch dolls released in 1986. The dolls portray 8- to 12-year-old girls of a variety it looks like she took some pictures maybe from Instagram that kind of looks like a five pens and a cockatiel photo. I'm not 100% sure if that's who took the picture, but I hope she gave credit. So the original dolls when they first came out were targeted towards nine-year-old girls. That's who they wanted their audience to be. But when they came out, so many people of different age groups loved them so much that now they kind of cater to really anybody. They don't really cater to anybody though. I feel like... Their products are still heavily geared towards the nine-year-olds, which is fine if that's still their target, but I feel like definitely not targeted towards older collectors, even teenagers or like adult collectors. I feel like it's still very much targeted towards the younger crowd. And I mean, I think overall the dolls have a really good message for young kids. I would prefer my kids to play with these over Bratz dolls and Barbie dolls personally because they're actually somewhat educational and have morals and purposes. That's a really good point. I know like a lot of brands like Barbie and Bratz sometimes get hate for like being just a fashion doll, which that's what they are, so there's really no need to insult them for that, but I think it's nice that she's giving props to American Girl for having, like, a second purpose to the dolls rather than just for, like, girls to play with. I think it's nice that they have educational purposes as well. There have been a fair share of controversies about these dolls, so I feel like there's a lot of people in this world that love them, and there are also a lot of people in this world that just feel like they're really controversial in some way. So let's start with the actual store that these dolls are in. I was reading online that some people find bathroom find these store layouts to be a little bit unsettling and it's mostly because they have these groups of dolls that are standing up in display cases with their names written over top so it's almost like they're just glaring at you as you shop hoping that you'll choose them I don't get how that's unsettling though that's just an advertising technique I guess to people who don't know a lot about dolls or something or are creeped out by them may find that creepy but how else are they supposed to have them on display so that girls won't touch them, rest up their hair, steal them. Glass cases are just pretty much the only way to go and I think that the girl of the year display is super cool because they're preserving the doll that is could be rare because they're girl of the years they're only sold for that year and it just shows them in order and I think that's really cool but I guess I could see from an outside perspective perspective why some people might be creeped out by this. So if you find a ton of dolls and cases kind of unsettling, these stores have that. The next thing that has kind of disturbed people is the American Girl Stop Motion. So it's called AGSM and there's actually quite a large community on YouTube who make and watch these videos. It says it's a phenomenon where American Girl fans 
fans make films starring their dolls using stop motion. So it's a process where you have to take thousands of photos of your doll to make it look like it's actually moving when you put it all together. And I think there are people around the world who have found this process to be kind of creepy because seeing a doll sort of move and act like it's real is not something you usually see. And I could definitely see how some people could find that creepy, but I actually find it kind of impressive to be honest. I, I really like that because yes, I know a lot of people find it creepy because they just have an underlying phobia of dolls. So it's not really the, the act of an AGSM itself, it's just their fear of dolls. It's it, it, A doll could be just sitting there and they get scared by it. So I think that what she's saying is right. It's way more on the impressive side that they're able to do this. I, I don't personally make a lot of AGSMs, but there's a lot of people that do and are super successful at it. So I think it's overall an impressive community rather than it being creepy. But again, there's just those people that are scared of dolls that are going to be creeped out no matter what. So. And it's a long process. Like, you need some skill, you need some patience, and the fact that these people are posting videos all the time with their American Girl dolls is really impressive, so good on you guys. There was actually a particular stop motion episode that came out on YouTube that really scared people. The specific episode was called The Spirits Haunting. It scared a lot of kids who watched it because most people who watch these stop motion films are younger kids because they also have the dolls. Sorry, I was I have to respond to a text real quick. <laughs> So this was a horror episode that came out and no one was really expecting it. Here's the plot. A doll named Essence moves into an abandoned home where an evil spirit tries to kill her as she sleeps. That's literally the plot. So not everything is happy faces and rainbows when it comes to American Girl dolls. Okay, yeah, so they're obviously the AGSM community is super creative and they like to do specials for like holidays. So in this case, it was a Halloween special. And that's just something you find in this community. It doesn't really have anything to do with, like, scaring people, really. It's just art, like, I don't want to say art because I'm not really in the AGSM community, but it's their form of creativity. And I see why people would think it's even scarier than a horror movie because it's dolls. And if they're already scared of dolls, they're going to be scared of this, but... The next thing I find really creepy is that there was a case where a girl bought an American Girl doll and the eyes of the doll turned black. This customer bought a doll and had her for a few years. She eventually put the doll away in storage when she got a bit older. And one day when she went to take her doll out of storage, all of the color had disappeared from the doll's eyes and all that was left were these grayish black circles. It said she was terrified of it. She called the store and asked them. Apparently that doesn't really happen too often, so I have... Sorry, FaceTime call. Okay, so for the black eye thing, I think that that may have been a case of silver eye, which just means maybe there was like some kind of water damage to the doll or something else, obviously, or mold even. Mold could have, yeah. But um, anyways, I guess that's, that, that's a little weird, but I don't think it was like a case of paranormal activity personally, because I've seen dolls that get silver eye or their eyes just like rust or whatever, and that definitely could have been the case. I don't know that it was like something super creepy, but... American Girl Doll Hospital. And it's talking about how when you're little and you send your doll to the doll hospital, the way you picture it is actually a legit looking hospital that dolls go to, but it says that in actuality it's just a factory warehouse where your doll goes and just gets fixed. It says they treat all kinds of injuries like damage from markers, putting your doll in the dryer, rips, tears, breaks, anything the doll hospital will fix. It says your doll will even come back with a certificate of good health. I don't really get why that's creepy, but it's probably because I'm not creeped out by dolls, but still it's just like it's a place to get your product fixed. If you just look at it in like overall perspective, you're just getting a product fixed. It's not like it's not that serious. So a lot of people find this whole thing to be weird. I personally think it's kind of cool. I mean, I wish doll hospitals existed when I was a kid. Get your American Girl doll a really cool Halloween costume. So there are some cute and scary ones that are available online, but there are also a lot of people who actually open Etsy stores to sell homemade costumes. 
costumes for American Girl dolls, which I find so cool. And you can probably find a costume for any kind of movie character out there in the world. So your American Girl doll can be anything she wants for Halloween. I think that's really funny because I've never seen somebody who doesn't know a lot about the American Girl community just be like, there's Etsy shops for costumes for dolls. And it's just like in the AG community, that's just like, yeah, obviously. So it's it's like funny to see somebody who doesn't really know about it, talk about it. And it's, I'm glad that she thinks it's cool because it is. That people are kind of unsettled by is the fact that you can create your own American Girl doll. So for $200, you can customize what she looks like. So for example, you choose the facial features, the hair color, the outfit, her personality. And a lot of people use this customization tool to make their doll look exactly like them. So a lot of people find this creepy, if you will, because they see kids walking around with their literal tiny doppelganger beside them. That's cute. That's not creepy. What? Okay, so overall, this was a cool video, and like I said before, it's fun to see somebody who isn't a part of the doll community to like talk about it. And it's nice to see an outside perspective because I'm always just like in the community, I'm always talking to people who know so much about dolls and maybe have Etsy shops or make stop motions, and it's just cool to see somebody talking about that who doesn't know anything about it and um overall I think that a lot of the points made in this video were just they're only you would only consider them creepy if you're already scared of dolls. I know I've said that in this video already, but I think that that's like kind of the case for a lot of this video is that if you're just scared of dolls, obviously you're gonna find American Girl dolls creepy. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any more videos you want me to react to, just comment them below. Um, I love doing reaction videos, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.